The following is a quick example of using the like operator in VBA. I'm in Microsoft uh, Excel and uh, it's basically the Windows 7 edition which is called um, Excel 23 I think. Oh, I'm sorry, Excel 2010 and Word 2010. What I'm going to show you really quick is how the uh, like operator works. You're looking at column A. Column A has names in it. I've asked the like operator to look for anything that has two ends in it, you know, if it's text. So, of course, it's going to find Kenny, it's going to find Leona, and it's going to find Triana for those fields. In the, in the corresponding column B, it's going to type the word found. Now, in the fourth column, or column D, you see dates. I have asked the like operator to look for a date range. Look for any date that's after October the 13th, 23rd, but before January the 1st of 2014. So, of course, it's going to choose the, the 12 one on the second uh, row, it's going to choose uh, the one underneath that for November the 13th, 23rd, and it's going to choose the one under that on the fourth line, October the 15th, 2013, but it's going to ignore the others because they are outside of the date range that I've asked it to search for. Let's go ahead and run the code. In the top right hand corner you see me about to run the code you see the VBA module window is opened on top of the regular Excel window so I'm going to run the code right now zoom in here so you can make sure you see what happens alright let's zoom in here the first one notice that every of the uh, every one of the names that has two ends in it shows the word found then over here at the dates, anything that's after October the 13th, 23rd, but before January the 1st of 2014, also has the word found. Let's go ahead and show you the VBA code. It's a very, very small, short, basic VBA code. If I was doing using formulas to do this, it would have taken a lot of and or if statements uh, just to make it do what I've asked it to do here. The like operator saves me a lot of typing, it saves me a lot of time, it saves me a lot of headaches. So it's always a good thing to use VBA when it can save you time. Let's zoom in here so you can really see it. Sorry, I'm trying to make the camera focus on this because I'm very close. Okay. Just ignore the ones where you see the um, the comments. The comments are in green. This is the VBA module window. Once again, just ignore the comments that are in green text. Zoom out of here. Zoom in a little bit so you can see each line. Now I can get a closer shot of it because I've actually um, changed the camera setting to close-up. So you can really see what I've typed here in the VBA module window. Let's zoom in on this line here. This is for the date range. 